Now let us consider some simple questions. Of course, even though these are simple questions, these involve various aspects of coordination chemistry. That is, you should know the rules of nomenclature, how to name these complexes. Similarly, how to find out the oxidation number of a central metal atom or ion as the case may be in a complex. Similarly, as we have seen, depending on the spectrochemical series, what are the various factors that decide the delta O values and so on. All these are being covered in these questions. Now, first you consider question number six, for example, a complex is given. This complex is given several names. Of course, you have to choose the correct answer or answers as the case may be. For example, consider question number 6, K3CO NO2 6 times. Probably you remember a complex compound may contain a cation which is complex or it may contain an anion which may be a complex or a complex may contain both cation and anion being complex in nature. All these are possible and here in this particular example the complex ion is the anion the complex ion is the anion. Probably you remember the rules governing the nomenclature. If the complex ion is a cation, then the central metal will not have a special name. But if the complex ion is an anion, then the rule says, according to IUPAC nomenclature, the rule says, for the complex ion, the name should end in A, T, E. All right. Whether it is a complex compound or a simple compound, we usually name the cation first. And here also K plus, that is the cation, simple ion, anion being the complex ion. Now, the question is, this compound K3CO NO2 six times is called, four answers are given. Of these four, which one or which are correct? Fisher's salt, potassium cobalt nitrite, potassium hexanitro cobaltate 3. D, potassium cobalt nitrite. Now, in this connection, I want to mention some important aspects of complexes. Originally, the complexes were given the names as per the color. Depending on the color of the complex, purpurio complex, rosio complex, like that. Depending on the color of the complex, names were assigned. Similarly, there are complexes which are named after the scientists. Now, let us see. Fisher's salt. This compound is known as the Fisher's salt. So, the compound K3CONO26 times is called Fisher's salt. It is correct. A is correct. B, potassium cobalt nitride. Of course, the complex compounds are given some common names. For example, K4FeCN6 times, potassium ferrocyanide, 
K3FeCN6 times, potassium ferrous cyanide. These are common names. Potassium cobalt nitride is a common name for this particular complex. That is, instead of naming this as per IUPAC nomenclature, the common name is potassium cobalt nitride. It is also correct. 3. Potassium hexanitro cobaltate 3. Just now I have told you if the anion is a complex one, then the ending for that metal should be in ATE. So, first we have named the cation potassium NO2 nitro and 6 nitro ligands. So, hexanitro cobaltate 3, this is also correct. D, potassium cobalt nitrite, uh, usually this sort of nomenclature is not followed. So, for this question we find A, B and C, all of them are correct. D is not correct.